Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create this spooky, swampy text effect right out of movies like Dark Shadows and Sleepy Hollow. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Let's fill this layer with black. Press Alt or Option plus Delete. If your foreground color isn't black, press the letter D first. Call up your Type tool and click on the Character Text box. I'm using Kaiser Zeitgottich, which you can download for free at Defont.com. Click on the color box, select White, and click OK. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition it, call up your Move tool, click on your text, and move it. Reduce the opacity to 50% and press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. This window will pop up, just click OK. We'll make the angle 90 degrees and the distance 94 pixels. I'm going to remove the Motion Blur from these ornate areas. I'll call up my Eraser tool and press the left bracket key to make the eraser smaller. Let's merge these two layers. Press Shift and click on the original text. Then press Ctrl or Command plus E. Let's close the text panels by clicking on the double arrow icon. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by two pixels. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Wave. The Wave window will open. Depending on the size and resolution of your text, you may want to assign different numbers in these fields. For this example, I'm using 1 for the number of generators. The wavelength is 205 to 633. The amplitude is 1 to 144. The scale is 100%. The type is sine and repeat edge pixels. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with black. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Change the Blend Mode from Normal to Color Dodge. Hide the top two layers and make the background active. Click on the foreground color and choose a dark muted blue. I'm choosing 01386B. Call up your brush tool and choose a large size brush. I'm choosing 400 pixels with a 38% opacity. Brush over large areas mainly in the middle. Make your text visible and active and change the blend mode to overlay. The next step is going to start to make our image come alive. Click on the eyeball of the cloud layer to make it visible. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of your text layer and reduce the opacity of the copy to 50%. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. I'll set the angle to 85 degrees and the distance 96 pixels. Let's rename this layer Motion Blur Copy. And we'll rename this layer Dark Shadows. Call up your Smudge tool and choose a medium-sized brush and a strength of approximately 25%. You may want to experiment with different numbers for your image. Now smudge various parts of your text to make them look like they're becoming part of the fog and mist. If you want to restore some of the overall fog in your image, click on the background to make it active, click on the foreground color, and choose the dark blue color you used earlier. Brush over the areas you want the fog to be restored. I'm using a 50% opacity on my brush. Have fun creating spooky atmospheric text that looks like you're in the middle of a swamp at midnight with a flashlight in hand. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>